Okay, slayers, here we go. First feeding of Shrek and Fiona. Who's gonna get one? Shrek or Fiona? Oh, wrong side. There it is. Come on, Fiona. Come on. There's Shrek. There's Fiona. There's Shrek again. <laughs> Who's gonna get it? Fiona's right there. Get it. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, Slayers, we are back. I was not going to go ahead and leave you hanging, but here are our babies. Now, it's the next day because I had to spend a lot of time and making this tank settle a little bit. And it still hasn't settled completely. Let's see if I can put in the light so you guys can see. It hasn't settled completely, but it's still looking good. Now, this is actually lake water, so it shouldn't harm our baby crawfish. Now, the hard part is trying to move all of these baby crawfish without having them disperse into this little tank into here now we still have a couple here roaming around but majority are on mom on mama car so here let me go ahead and see if you guys seen them on her oh yeah on her claw on her antenna some running around in there and then always they're all under her swimmerettes right there guys so here comes the hardest attempt we're gonna move all of these guys and mama Craw into this tank so for safety purposes I am not gonna record that part I'm gonna go ahead and handle her as carefully as possible and move her in so you guys can see under a white background I added this so I can move all the water here into there because there is a lot of them moving around but as you can see guys there are a whole bunch of baby crawfish I'm gonna put the light right there so you guys can go ahead and get better opportunity look at that baby crawls everywhere Baby cross everywhere now. Some have fallen, unfortunately, like I said, some are gonna fall, but those will be consumed for the other crawfish to grow faster. Now I went ahead and put aeration so that the mom does not have to do all the work. Now this is a lot of aeration for a 10 gallon tank, but we have our baby crawls right here, guys. There they are. So they move around and stuff like that. <laughs> What's going on, little guy? I'm not gonna go ahead and add any filtration because I don't want our babies to get sucked up. The, all of these guys right here are our babies and I do not want them to get sucked up at all. Now, also as a food source, I left those plants in there so they can go ahead and chew up those plants. Um, they're really too small. The baby crawls are too small to actually rip it apart. But this is the exact setup in the old tank where the mom was. So there's a lot of detritus material stuff that she broke down that they can eat. I'm going to go ahead and you can feed them little pieces of vegetables. Small pellets I'll break down, but they're going to be doing good. They're going to be doing good. They're moving around. It's kind of hard to see because it's super cloudy, but there's mom. Mom's doing okay with all her babies and everyone's moving around. So it's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Hope we can get more baby crawls here. So you can see there's one right here, guys. Look. Hey, guys. Oh, there's two. Hey, beautifuls. They're absolutely amazing. So, it's got to eat up. Eat up, my friends. Eat up. And I think this substrate's perfect because it's like plant substrate. So, it has the nutrients that they need. It's fire. Look at them. It's so cute. Also, guys, don't forget to remove your mama crawfish usually after four to six days because then she'll start eating your babies. And you don't want that to happen. You want this to be pretty much a baby only tank. So, I'm keeping the water super stagnant, like I was saying. But just keep an eye out and see how she's behaving. Because if she's looking like she's getting a little hungry, you're going to have to remove her from this tank so you can go ahead and make sure your babies don't die. So, it's a little process. They're going to mold about 8 to 10 times. They're all moving around. And, uh, and yeah, pretty much. We're going to go ahead and add some cover in the future, which I'll show you in future videos, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, hit the bell for notifications on the channel. And also, guys, we are over 50,000. I cannot express how thankful I am for you guys making it to 50,000 with me, okay? So let's go ahead and push for more, 75, 100K, who knows, maybe a million one day, but we're on the road together, guys. So, 100%, you can tell Ninja is playing Ninja. Just chilling there, being simple and quiet. And we have our new ogre catfish, guys. So you can tell by the size difference. That's Fiona to the right, and to the left, that is Shrek by the size so we're gonna go ahead and fatten them up but hopefully they grow at the same rate so that one doesn't eat the other so watch this guys this could be the first feeding ever of Shrek and Fiona 
see what's going on here. Oh, maybe we'll turn off the other light. Feels like it's reflecting on them too much. Oh, oh, he sees it. Oh, oh, we gotta get him. Oh, attack team, attack team. Who's gonna get it? Who's gonna get one? Shrek or Fiona? Oh, wrong side. There it is. Come on, Fiona. Come on. There's Shrek. There's Fiona. There's Shrek again. <laughs> Who's gonna get it? Fiona's right there. Get it. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Oh! <laughs> Come on, we can do this. This is sick. These are just regular bot feeders. Nothing from the goldfish army. My goldfish army stays untouched. Oh, here we go. Kenny flares. You gotta fend for yourself, you gotta hunt. Tag team, tag team. Shrek and Fiona. Who will get their first meal on camera for us, guys? Who will do it? Oh. Oh, I missed it, but he got one. He got one, he got one completely. Believe that was Fiona? Dang it, guys, I missed it. I missed it because I was screwing around. That was probably Shrek. Yep, that was Shrek 100%. Nope, nope, I'm lying, it's Fiona. Fiona, that's what I'm talking about. Fiona got one. Good job, Fiona. Get them gains. And she got the big one. Your turn, Shrek. There's the other meal right there. Hey, don't fight, don't fight. Don't stop kissing each other. Go ahead. Come on, Shrek, you got this. You got this, Shrek. Right there, right there. I just passed it to you, bro. It was like an alley-oop. Come on, Shrek. Right behind. There you go. <laughs> oh! He escaped! He escaped! It was too quick. There you go. Come on. Right there. Trying to help you out, bro. All right, here we go, guys. I give him a hand. Should be right there behind him. Oh, it's right in front of you. This is crazy. Who's gonna get him? We're gonna get him. There you go. Go ahead, Shrek. It's right there. Go in for the kill. Go in for the swallow. Go in. Go in for the swallow. Go in. Go in for the swallow. He's in the corner. Go, 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 go. Go. There it is, there it is. It's frantic. Feels the frantic. Feels it. Senses it. I'm gonna go ahead and tap this goldfish down. What happened now? It's freaking out. Freaking out. Come on, Trek. You got this. You got this, bro. It's right there. You got this. Go ahead. Go ahead. You got this, my dude. There it is. Come on. Will you? Will you do it? Oh! Moment of truth. There it is. That's it, guys, right there. Shrek has gotten its meal completely full and satisfied. Look at our boys and girls, guys. Let's go ahead and see if Ninja Eats. Hold on one second. Gotta scoop this thing up. Real quick. Come on. All right, guys. Here is the last goldfish, and here's our boy Ninja. Ninja, come up. Oh, he sees it. Oh, that's the way to end it. You are the bomb.com. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Our ogre catfish are getting vicious. Shrek and Fiona, you guys are amazing. I'll see you guys in the next Slave Venture. Booyah. We interrupt our normal programming to bring you time with Terrible Zach. It has to be 10 minutes, okay?